What would happen if an entire community came together and took on one of the greatest health challenges of the 21st century? And what if that health challenge was one of the most common diseases affecting older adults in America? That's just what's happening in Columbus, Georgia, with a new program called the Medicare Diabetes Screening Project. For other communities across the nation, our efforts in Columbus have become a model in the fight against diabetes. Great project. You know, as soon as we heard about it, we knew that that was something that we needed to do, that we needed to be a part of uh, in Columbus. My thoughts on a Medicare diabetes screening project when I first heard of it was, wow, what an impact this project can make on our senior population by giving them the tools they need to understand the tests that are available to them free of charge. Columbus is the first community-based pilot program of the Medicare Diabetes Screening Project, a national coalition of organizations that represents patients, healthcare providers, older adults, businesses, and government. Co-chaired by the American Diabetes Association, the Healthcare Leadership Council, and Novo Nordisk. It is the first and only program designed to increase awareness and promote use of the free screening benefits that Medicare offers for diabetes and pre-diabetes. These benefits are largely unused by Medicare beneficiaries. Getting older adults screened for diabetes is vitally important because across America, more than two million people ages 65 and older have diabetes but don't know it. They are undiagnosed. We need to find them so they can get the care they need to help prevent the serious complications of diabetes, which include blindness, kidney disease, amputations, heart disease, and stroke. And what about people who are likely to develop diabetes in the future? More than 14 million adults 65 and older have pre-diabetes, and nearly all of them are undiagnosed. Many of them are well on their way to diabetes unless they can be identified and given advice and assistance to help them prevent diabetes. We have taken the opportunity to educate physicians in town about the Medicare benefits for diabetes and for diabetes screening. And I think both of these have had a very positive effect. We know that we have a large population of seniors that have diabetes and probably a third of those here in Columbus don't even know that they have diabetes. There is a lot of talk about the growing problem of diabetes, but for people who are at risk, what they need most are solutions. So what's the first step? Encouraging people who are at risk to get screened for diabetes. Medicare covers free screening for diabetes and pre-diabetes that is conducted in a medical setting, such as a doctor's office or a community clinic. Adults 65 and older who are at risk for diabetes can get one free diabetes screening per year. If they are found to have pre-diabetes, they can get free follow-up screenings every six months. Even though adults 65 and older have the highest risk for diabetes, research shows they can be among the most successful in preventing or delaying the disease. Studies show that small steps can mean big rewards. Many older adults with pre-diabetes are able to prevent or delay diabetes by losing relatively small amounts of weight and increasing their physical activity to 30 minutes of walking most days of the week. If screening leads to a diagnosis of diabetes, studies show that the disease can be managed successfully with proper care to prevent or delay serious complications. It was important for me to go to a doctor for a screening because sometimes people may tell you, well, you know, you... You could have diabetes, but if you don't know from a doctor, then you will say, well, no, I don't have it. But when the doctor confirms, then that means you've got to deal with it. So to help ensure that people on Medicare get the screening they need, the Medicare Diabetes Screening Project was planned and developed. The project was launched with a bang in Columbus in July of 2007. As city leaders and representatives of Medicare and the project came together at the Columbus Civic Center. I participated with my sorority with the big kickoff and anything that I can do, uh, making certain that all the seniors that I know are aware of the benefits that are available from Medicare. I like the way we were able to reach the community through newsletters, 
through uh, our presence in the mall, we had a kiosk, and especially through the Men's and Women's Health Fair. This Medicare Diabetes Screening Project has uh, educated a lot of uh, people, along with uh, helping the optometrists uh, educate their patients a little bit better due to uh, VSP's intense marketing efforts. It helps us in another way to reach out to the people in the community. While we have health fairs and those kind of things. We know it affects a business community, we know it affects our bottom line, and if we can help that bottom line be blacker because we're doing more preventative uh, maintenance, if you will, on health care through screenings and other programs like this, then it makes all kinds of sense. If you will, it's almost a no-brainer. All the while, new partners came on board. More events and activities were held throughout the community. We worked to reach people where they live, work, play, and pray with the good news about the free diabetes screening benefits offered by Medicare. We successfully recruited a diverse group of community leaders who lent their support. Leading members of the clergy spread the word among their congregations with messages from the pulpit and inserts into newsletters. The local area agency on aging distributed information at health fairs. The fire department conducted risk assessment at local station houses. Members of the television, radio, and print media spread the word. All in all, the community took ownership, worked together, and achieved results. This community has worked together, and the idea now is to how we can implement this same strategy across the nation to impact all our seniors. In terms of members discovering late that they are diabetic, yes, that has made an impact on some of the members in the congregation. The problem of diabetes, especially as Americans age, is enormous and potentially devastating. So how can the Medicare Diabetes Screening Project help change diabetes? We have to keep this information going. The momentum has got to keep going. In the long run, it'll cost the, the city less money to provide the service on the front end in a non-emergency situation uh, than it would be in an emergency situation. Communities can make a difference in diabetes by banding together. We've made our senior citizens more aware. There is an important need to go specifically instruct senior citizens about the Medicare benefits. It, just in our practice alone, it has helped probably 60, 70, 80 percent of the patients uh, who did not realize that uh, they were at risk. I don't think the question is how can they make this an ongoing effort. I think how do they have to. So if we can do it in Columbus, Georgia, I'd issue the challenge to any community anywhere in the United States. So what's your problem? Columbus is showing us how to fight against diabetes. So how about you? How about getting involved and in promoting Medicare diabetes screening benefits in your community? If we all pitch in, if we all get involved, we can begin to change the way diabetes is treated in America. And wouldn't that be a great thing?